Good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to today's Civil Rights and Social Justice CRSJ 101 membership event designed especially for law students and young lawyers. Um, I am here today with my colleague and Associate Director, Ali Kielsgaard, the Managing Editor of our magazine, Melissa Hodek, and two of our Executive Committee members and former YLD leaders, Lacey Durham and Mario Sullivan who I am gonna now turn it over to Lacey um, to kick us off, but welcome, we're excited to have you. Hello everyone and welcome. Again, we are super excited to have you. What we're going to do today is share with you a little bit more about the civil rights and social justice section. What we hope to gain uh, through our conversation today is not only educating you about who we are, what we do, but more importantly, how you can fit into our section, um, as we hope that you would do once you uh, age out of the Young Lawyers Division, um, or even uh, contemplating joining uh, over in the ranks sooner rather than later. So just a little bit about the section. Um, we are a longstanding section that was really birthed out of the need um, for change. We were created back in 1966. Um, and what we do is we provide the overall ABA with um, leadership uh, in protecting and advancing human rights, civil liberties, and social justice. This section arguably is one of the most important sections of the ABA because of the fundamental work that we do. I'll make a shameless plug here and say that in my day practice, I'm a tax attorney. Um, what makes me really proud of this section is that I still get to do all of the passion and purpose work that I love to do because of the mission of the section. Uh, and, and to really, um, protect and advance human rights. It was one of the reasons why I frankly became a lawyer was to help people. And this is the way that I choose to contribute to furthering my goals. Now, some important uh, facts about the section uh, as an overview. As you see here, our executive committee is diverse. Um, you see our leaders here. Um, there's diversity in terms of geography, age, stage. Not all of us practice civil rights and social justice as a um, practice area, but we all come together collectively because what we, um, we all believe in the mission of this section. Other important information is that we have, uh, our, of course, our executive committee here, but we are also governed uh, by council members. We have 21 substantive committees. So there is something here for everybody. And we'll share with you a little bit more about that in just a minute here. And also we have liaisons to other ABA entities to make sure that what we're doing is really permeating throughout the entire ABA. We have some very special section projects that we will talk about here as well. So now what you see here is a list of all of our substantive section, all of our substantive committees here. We break them into about five different um, divisions. As you can see, the divisions are as equally uh, diverse and robust here. This is where fundamentally all of our committee work is really the substance and the brains behind our section and how we work. We have um, all of these uh, different committees or working committees. We produce literally thousands of webinars, hundreds of uh, pieces of content each year. I personally marvel at what we do in our committees. What's um, also here that I'll point out and mention that if you're very used to the Young Lawyers Division structure, you probably will note here that there is a lot of overlap. So if you've been successful and really like the work that you're doing in the YLD, you may have uh, find easily find a committee home here. For example, our Division Three Bully Proof really started as a Young Lawyer Division um, public service project, and now it lives permanently in the Civil Rights and Social Justice section. Again, some of our uh, sections uh, overlap in terms of how we work collaboratively together um, because of the important information and important um, projects that we are doing here. So 21 different opportunities for you to get involved 
It's one of the easiest ways uh, to be boots on the ground in this section. And there are opportunities in terms of leadership, um, from being a co-chair um, to actually leading any webinars, writing papers, et cetera. Next, what we will talk about um, here are <clears throat> some of the projects and initiatives that we do within our section. Again, no shortage of things to do. We could have a complete laundry list of projects and initiatives. What we wanted to do here is really highlight some of the key things uh, that we do, but knowing that there are more. I encourage you when this is over to please queue up your questions. Don't hesitate to go out and um, visit more on our website. Uh, or ask our staff, they are a good resource here. So you see just an example of some of the things that we are currently working on and some of the things that are really long-standing projects and initiatives. I would be remiss if I did not mention our Economic Justice Summit, which is coming up March 30th through 31st. You have a fantastic opportunity to either go in person, we would love to see you there, or we also have an online opportunity for you to participate in it. Registration is now open. You can visit more. You can find out more by visiting our website. Um, I'm sure you know that um, uh, in terms of uh, protecting democracy, particularly election protection, has uh, been at the forefront in everything that we do. And so we do have a lot of programming initiatives about how we, uh, in a nonpartisan way, make sure that everyone has the right to vote and there is no infringement there. We promote fair uh, election practices. And so if that is something that you're passionate about, there's definitely an opportunity for you to, to, to hone in and lend your skill set there. I also want to mention our chairs chat, which is something that the section has been doing this year under the tutelage of our chair, Juan Thomas. Um, each week, he has a special guest that discusses strategies for tackling important civil rights issues. And we have a midriff of different chair chats that are also available for you to go look at if you've missed them in the past that are on our YouTube channel for you to really enjoy and learn more about some of the things that we are doing, we're discussing that we have our eye on in terms of the section. Let me mention one section, one book. Um, which is our kind of uh, unifying uh, book on related to, on how to talk about civil rights issues um, that is available for discussion. Um, and I must make mention of our Civil Rights Civic Institute, uh, which was a fun project. And I think you will find something that is relatable here for you. It uh, contains short educational videos answering questions from students around related civil rights topics. This is one that is fun. It's easy to take some of these questions, go into the community, into schools, and really replicate that and highlight this. It's personally one of my favorites because I think the younger that you start, um, uh, individuals, young people into thinking about civil rights and social justice, the better. And this allows them to ask questions from their perspective and really spark some great discussion along the way. Just a few more things that I want to talk about here that are highlighted that really, again, are the lifeline uh, and some longstanding initiatives that we do that you may not have even heard of, but it all stems from the civil rights and social justice section. The civil rights connection um, is our pro bono opportunity to connect organizations in need with assistance. Um, this is also always a great one. Um, it's an easy way to give back. Um, there are some tools and some resources that are available, but the Civil Rights Connection is something that can easily be done, and we try to do this uh, a couple of times a year. Let me also make mention of two projects that I'm extremely, well, actually three projects that I'm extremely uh, proud of that you may not have known uh, is birthed from the civil rights and social justice section um, that we continue to be at the forefront here. And that's the HIV AIDS impact project, the death penalty due process review project and the reproductive rights pro bono project. All of these uh, projects are, 
are, are innovative, we're at the cutting edge, we're doing some really good policy work to make sure that there is, is fairness and equitable uh, and equality in all of these processes. So if you are someone who has a passion for these, I highly suggest that you seek them out. Um, a lot of these things are continuously going to be at the forefront. So I'm very proud that the section has the opportunity, right, to, to be the foremost authority and continue to push those forward. And I would be remiss if I, if I did not mention our policy implementation initiative. Um, we support advocacy in action um, using section-sponsored civil rights and social justice policy. Um, I hope that you all have had the opportunity um, to be a part of the ABA uh, House of Delegates process. But if you have not, I really want to encourage you to go to the website to take a look at the important policies that are being drafted and sponsored by the section um, and what we're doing in terms of propelling and protecting civil rights and social justice. Um, it's very important that we continue to be the voice and not leave it to happenstance or anybody else to speak on these important issues. So again, if there's anything that you um, have seen here, and this is just a snippet, a small portion of what we do. There's always more things that would just be too illustrative to put here. But if you have any questions, I really encourage you, please do not hesitate to reach out. There's so much that um, we have going for us. And I know there's some additional information that's being dropped in the chat. I really do encourage you to go there and check it out. So with that in mind, I will pause and I will turn it over to my colleague. Thanks, Lacey. Um, good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, depending on where you are. Um, I, Mario Sullivan, was mentioned earlier, I will chair this section along with Lacey. She'll go first, and I'll follow behind all of her great work. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I chaired the YLD back in 2013-2014. Um, and also, like Lacey, I am not a civil rights lawyer. I have a small firm practice in Chicago doing real estate and uh, commercial litigation. But I'm also very passionate about civil rights and social justice. And so just like Lacey, that's why I'm involved in this section. And just like her as well, we're looking forward to lead the section in the future and see the great work that we're going to be able to do. Now, Lacey's done a great job looking, giving a lot of information on our, on our initiatives there. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about some programming and a little more on how you can get involved in this section. But as you'll see um, on this slide there, we have many, many programs that we do. Um, that focus on civil rights and social justice. And all that programming comes from our committees and our leaders in our section. And all of them are very much on what's going on in the world today, whether it's on reproductive rights, LGBT rights. Um, I just did a program, even though I'm you know, in the leadership track there, I did a program last October on uh, the Stop Woke and Don't Say Gay legislation in Florida. So there's many opportunities for you to get involved, whether you're a leader or whether you're on a committee to present programming that we're happy to put out there and uh, to promote to all of those in the section as well as in the division uh, to attend. Um, another way to get involved too is our uh, Human Rights Magazine. Um, this is an award-winning magazine that is published quarterly. Um, and it's all about, uh, our next one actually is about econ economics on voting and wealth disparity and civil rights. Um, but we're always looking for authors. And if you have a particular civil rights or social justice issue you want to bring up or a case that maybe is before the Supreme Court or coming to the Supreme Court, those are always things that we're looking for. And it gives you an opportunity uh, to be involved in the section, to build on your resume, uh, as well as to um, build on your uh, law school career there. Um, the other thing that our section does is advocacy. Um, even though we do the programming and all the other great things, um, it's important to just not be out there speaking. So on top of the, the program that we do, uh, we do educational programming, uh, whether it be for governmental entities or our legislatures. Um, we also do amicus briefs and various cases that are coming up. We even did one in Dobbs. Um, you'll see there, there's quite a few uh, listed that we've done in the past. Um, so there's always cases that we're following. And if maybe you're following a case and think that our section should be addressing, we want you to reach out to us and let us know. And we'll uh, present it to our amicus committee, uh, which you can be involved with them as well as they're looking to what they're going to be doing uh, in cases that are coming up before the Supreme Court. Um, we also do advocacy and legislative bodies, whether that's in Congress or locally. 
Um, and then, of course, we're always presenting uh, resolutions before the ABA House of Delegates so that we can go out and um, lobby our politicians in, con in Congress to pass laws or not to pass a law that uh, affects civil rights and social justice. Um, so as you can see, there's lots of leadership opportunities here um, that you can get involved in, whether you're doing programming, uh, whether you panelist on one of our programs because you're an expert or have particular expertise in a particular topic. Um, you can write articles. Uh, like I said, you can assist us in the implementation of ABA policies that we've gotten through the House, or if it's bringing new policies to the House on issues that we should address. There are many, many ways uh, that you can be active, and it can be just a little bit of activity, or it can be a lot of activity. We always welcome everybody's help uh, in our section as we look to keep fighting on um, the issues that unfortunately keep coming up every day uh, and the backtracking that we keep having every day. Um, it's our ability to be out there and do the fight for this. Um, and that's the goal of our section and why uh, both myself and Lacey find it very important to be involved and put our time and efforts to moving this section forward and keeping us going. Um, the next slide, I'll show you a few testimonials from some great leaders in our section. Uh, Rula is both a personal friend of mine and Lacey's, um, and we're glad to have her in the section. And of course, our section chair, Juan, is doing a great job this year. Uh, getting everything moving forward in this upcoming conference on economic justice that's going to be in D.C. Um, there's more information on our website. I'm sure somebody will drop something in the chat if you want to attend that. It's virtual, too. So if you're in D.C., welcome to attend in person. But if not, uh, you can do it virtually. Um, I do encourage you to reach out to any of us in leadership. We'd be more than happy to talk to you about why we're a part of this section, uh, all the great work that we do in this section and how you can get involved in the section, whether it be this year or in the future, um, or when you're a law student, no longer a law student and a young lawyer. Um, we have a lot of great things that are coming up, especially to help support young lawyers and law students who are wanting to seek a career in civil rights, or like me and Lacey, uh, to do a non-civil rights career, uh, but also do a lot to support civil rights and social justice. Um, and this finally on our last slide here is uh, information on how you can join us. Um, of course, there's always the committees and everything that you've seen dropped in the chat, those links. Um, but here's our email address and our website as well. So we do encourage everybody to follow us on all the social media platforms, and you'll get all the up-to-date information on everything we have going on uh, in this section, but also to join our committees and to reach out to us at any time uh, that you have any questions um, or looking to get involved in this section. Thank you guys for um, being here today and taking the time to listen to be both me and Lacey. Um, Lacey, I don't know if you have any final words you'd like to add. No, I don't have any final words. I just, well, maybe I do. I guess I'll just say, you know, I really do hope that you join us. Um, joining the section probably has been one of the most rewarding experiences after I transitioned um, from the YLD. Um, being a former chair, I will say I was concerned about where I was going to go and where I was going to lend my time, talent, and treasure. And I am super excited that um, I chose civil rights and social justice. It has really been fulfilling to me. It really also opened my eyes around how much more I can really do. Um, as Mario stated, these issues, unfortunately, are not going away. Um, and if not us, then who? Right. And so I trust this group of people. Uh, I trust their leadership, their expertise to be able to carry us forward um, as we tackle some of these tough issues. Uh, I have been personally so impressed with the level of expertise in the network that I have grown um, by just joining and being involved. And I, I don't think I can say enough that the easiest way to get involved, I know I was someone that was concerned that, you know, I'm not an expert in anything related to civil rights and social justice, but what I am an expert is that is advocating for people who otherwise won't have a voice and who have been disenfranchised. And I really credit the section for being that training ground for me uh, to be able to do that going forward. So if anybody else has any questions, please feel free to drop them uh, into the chat. We're happy to answer them or don't hesitate to reach out to us uh, on all of the social media platforms and follow us or reach out to us personally. Uh, we are more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you so much, Lacey and Mario. Um, we're so excited that you are a part of our leadership and going to lead the section um, to great things. 
and we're grateful that everyone is here listening. Um, I am going to ask Melissa to briefly speak um, a little bit more about our Human Rights Magazine. One of the things that we are doing right now is we are looking for new members of our editorial board. Um, and so she can explain a little bit about how that works because we'd love for you to join us. Yes, so Mario gave a nice introduction to the magazine. Um, I can give you a little more information. So the publication has been around for about 50 years. Um, as Mario said, it's quarterly. It's available in print and online. It goes to all um, CRSJ members, so it is a benefit of membership. Some of our recent issue themes have dealt with voting, policing, immigration, economic justice, and science. And it really is a rewarding way to get involved in the section. Um, there are so many ways you can contribute to the magazine, either by writing, you can um, join in an editorial board call, or even become an editorial board member, which would be wonderful. You can even just reach out to me and send me theme or article ideas. Um, and we always invite people to just join in an editorial board call if you just want to see how we operate and how we go about planning issues. We would love to have your participation. So please reach out if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Melissa. I see that we have some uh, people who are reaching out. Uh, I love it. Keep that energy going. If anything that we said resonated with you, I do hope that you continue to reach out. We are more than happy to get you plugged in, help you find your right fit, your lane. Uh, and also, if you have any ideas about what we could be doing, future programming, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, we would love to, to get you involved. Um, Meredith, yes, there is a group that is working on some information uh, regarding food deserts. If that's your purpose and passion, we would love to get you plugged into that committee. Uh, in fact, that may be something uh, for the Economic Justice uh, Summit to bring up as well. We would love for you to, to lend your our services here. So, um, Anybody else, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, if nothing else, I am going to turn it back over to staff uh, to close us out. Mario? Well, one thing I would just add too, that if we don't have a committee and this is an important civil rights issue, we will find a place for that yeah. issue to be addressed. So please do reach out. Um, I'm sure you'll find that we have plenty of committees that will uh, be dealing with that important issue that you're focused on. Thanks so much, everybody. Okay.